For years, researchers have been using aircraft and satellites to produce information-rich views of our planet. It's called remote sensing, and although the science is not new, its applications continue to grow. Image processing software called ELAS, developed at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, is now being used to manage and conserve fish populations in the Gulf of Mexico. These maps of sea surface temperatures allow researchers at the National Marine Fisheries Service to predict where certain species of fish should be on a given day. This capability is a much needed tool for scientists working aboard NOAA vessels like the Chapman. Fishing is a major industry here and information collected during these research missions is used to set critical catch limits. The temperature maps accessible with a standard personal computer on the ship make it easier to locate and sample fish being studied. Reducing search time saves man hours and fuel, and being able to gather data faster makes setting catch limits more precise. When changes in surface temperatures are too subtle to be mapped, a specially equipped NASA Learjet can be used to measure concentrations of chlorophyll in coastal waters. The same boundaries between water types used to locate fish can be found with these displays as well. With the help of businessmen like Mike Frenette, the technology is now being moved into the marketplace. As with all charter boat owners, Frenette's livelihood depends upon finding fish for his customers. Information such as what this program has to offer gives me more time to fish versus trial and error trying to locate the fish. Reducing search times would also save larger commercial fishing operations thousands of dollars in fuel costs, savings which could in turn be passed on to consumers. And according to oceanographer John Brooks, the danger of overfishing will not be any greater. As long as the demand is there, they are going to spend the time and the effort and the fuel to find that fish. And their livelihood depends on a long-term fishery, not just to load the boat today. And so it's readily understood throughout the fish community. We have a, a beautiful natural resource here, and it's up to us to govern that resource. Locating fish from above, using NASA software to manage an important natural resource.